burning up. Yes, of course. When I found her, she had cut her arm, which in itself would be no cause for alarm, but she had cut through a field of anti-Aris toxicaria. Upus trees. Highly poisonous latex. I have been administering an antidote each hour. I'm afraid that another dosage may be required. Well, I did just examine the box. It's empty. Where should I go for more? Set us up with a couple of cave mushrooms and we will be right as rain. Peruse the cliffs. To the west. Thank you, Doctor. I'm sorry for the rush. Think nothing of it. The girl must live. For you and me both. What up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Death Wish Studios. Today we're going to be talking about Far Cry 3. And this game is pretty good. It's a pretty good game. I, the way I feel about it, it's that it's a mixture between... Far Cry, duh. Crisis, some Fallout sprinkled in, some Dead Island because you have that that I'm being hunted feel, and some obviously Skyrim. Uh, it, it's got a mixture of all great games in one. It's a pretty good game. I like it, and of course I just started playing it. I've only played it for what three, four hours, something like that, and it's it's a pretty good game. And um, you you, <laughs> the only thing that I hate about it. It's kind of like Skyrim where you get distracted. You'll be walking around and you're on a mission. And it took me two effing hours to start the first mission of the game. Because I just started running around. I started hunting stuff. I started getting attacked. I started seeing, you know, radio towers that you got to unlock and things like that. And it's just, you just start getting way, way distracted by all the things that go around. Aside from the game, aside from that part, this game is amazing. And, and that's not a bad thing, by the way. That's a good thing because there's just so much to do. But this game is amazing. It looks great. It looks wonderful for it being a Ubisoft game. Uh, it's usually Ubisoft. They it's a terrible, terrible PC port is what they do. <laughs> like some people say, uh, Ubisoft hates PC players. But this one is not too bad. The frames per second here, everything you saw in the beginning is maxed out. This is the maxed out graphics you can get on three monitors. And outside, I'm getting 60 frames per second. And that is pretty damn good for a brand new game, and everything is maxed out, and and you already saw it in the beginning. Now, on the bottom left corner, we have the the um, uh, graphics cards running. We have all three graphics cards, their temperatures, how much percentage of the cards is being used, and the uh, the uh, video RAM that's being used. That's 1500 video memory out of 4 gig, four gigs that's available from these cards since I have a 4 gig edition GTX 680s. And we're getting 60 ish frames per second, you know, average. On the right hand side, however, now I found a new uh, thing that we can put up here for you guys to see. And it is the CPU. We're going to see the CPU temperatures and what the, the speed is. I had to dumb down the speed to 4 gigahertz because 4.2 gives me maybe. One, two, at most three frames per second in some games. However, it was very unstable, and I had to adjust some things. And and I only lose two frames, which it ain't bad. I mean, 58, 59. Hell, we're hitting 68 at some points there. Versus 60, you really can't tell the difference. But again, on the right-hand corner, the CPU, what the uh, temperature is, what the core is, what the uh, Northbridge core is, and things like that. Again. Guys that know about this stuff, or people that know about this stuff, will know what that means. If you don't understand what it is, all you got to pay attention to is the CPU speed, which is at 3.97989, which is 4 gigahertz, and the temperatures. The temperatures you won't want them for mine. I have liquid cooled, and again, my fans are running at 40%, or everything is running at 40% for my uh, for my liquid cooling, and it's sitting at 20 20 degrees Celsius, which is amazing. Uh, and you know you don't want your 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 CPU to be running over 40 40 C or 50 C because that's you're starting to get you know kind of warm 60 C you're starting to get hot 70 C you better start looking into a, a better cooling system because 70 C is pretty damn hot for a CPU. Now of course back to this game this game is pretty good again it's a mixture of Skyrim uh, all those games that I mentioned earlier and the basically the storyline is you get caught by these pirates and you're about to be sold as human trafficking uh, victims and then I mean obviously you escape and now you're trying to find your friends 
Uh, I, that's pretty much all I know. I don't know if you find your friends, if you don't find your friends. And that's pretty much all I get from this game. So it's a pretty good game. Uh, I enjoyed it. And um, the biggest issue that I had with it was... Uh, oh, not the biggest issue. But the best thing that I saw about it is they implemented this thing called where you, you can create uh, your... I guess your pouches and you can create syringes and things like that. Well, I was running around and I saw a plant and I was like, well, this is stupid. This is a random plant here. And I picked it and I was like, well, I don't know what the hell this is for. I saw an animal. I started killing deer. I started killing all kinds of stuff. Goats. You can kill leopards. You can kill boars. Uh, there's freaking Komodo dragons in here. There's all kinds of stuff. And I'm like, what the hell? Why am I killing all these animals? But then I found out you can gut them. And by gutting them, you get their, their, their skin. And once you get their skin, you can create pouches. You can create... Uh, pouches for bigger you, you can hold uh, more ammo different guns things like that and i was like well that's that's pretty cool because it implements the fact that you can hunt animals and it's fun but at the same time there's a purpose behind it so it's not one of these well, i'm just going to hunt an animal just because i need food quote unquote i'm going to hunt an animal because i need it for more equipment i need better equipment so i'm going to keep hunting animals and it gets you distracted that's the kind of things that this game game does and it distracts you in those types of senses but anyway um far cry 3 pretty damn good game will i recommend it absolutely uh if you have a pretty good graphics card to run dx11 i would highly recommend it if you don't still highly recommend the game uh, whether it's for you know pc if you want it for the full-blown graphics or if you want to get it for xbox or ps3 um that's pretty much it guys so uh enjoy the rest of this video it's gonna be about i don't know 12 minutes or so and uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe, uh, and let me know what kind of uh, things I should better, you know, what that, what type of things I should do for these videos to make them better. If you guys like this setup, the three screen setup, do you want me to do three screen versus one screen? Do you like the setup where you can see the temperatures of the cards, what kind of frames per second I'm gaining, the CPU temperature, and things like that? Please let me know these things, that way I'll know, hey, you know, what you guys want, and I'll do my best to make it happen. Now. As far as me leaving, again, uh, last video, or about two videos ago, I believe, or not last video, I was, I was saying that I was leaving, I was going overseas, I'm in the Air Force, and I'm going overseas, which I am. However, good news is, is I found out that I can take my computer setup with me, believe it or not. Uh, again, I'm in the Air Force, I'm not in the Marines or Army, so no offense to anybody out there that's in those, but, you know, <laughs> luckily we get our own rooms. But, uh, I might be able to take my computer with me. And that way I can make more videos while I'm over there, wherever I'm going to be. Now, if that's, that, that's the case, that means I'm, there's no pause in videos. I'm going to make my videos. I'm going to have people back here edit it. And then I'm, they're going to do their own thing and whatnot. So, uh, that would be awesome. Again, please let me know what, what uh, you guys think about these videos. That way I can bring videos in the future. And let me know what you guys think about this setup. Or do you want me to change anything about it? Alright guys, well enjoy the rest of this video. This is Deathwish signing out. Peace. Jason, what a pleasant surprise. I whipped up a couple of high notes since you were gone. Oh, oh yes, and the girl is now awake. Terrible fever, however. What did I do with the burgers? Oh, oh yes. <laughs> I finished them off. <laughs> I have the mushrooms. Delightful. Give them to me. I need a couple of minutes to prepare the medicine. Go check on her.
feeling? Uh, you got away, that's how I'm feeling. The doctor's a real trip. Oh, he's... he's harmless. Oh, he's kind of sweet, actually. He carried me here. I escaped from the convoy. At some point, I passed out. The doctor saved me. I'm glad you made it. Yeah. It's been really rough. Jason, what's wrong? Grant, you uh... hope. Stop. Daisy. No. I'm so, so sorry. So, so, so that's it? gonna be okay. I've got to talk to the doctor about the others. Yeah. You sure? Go. Jason. Whoever did this, whoever killed Grant, deserves to die. Can I talk to you? By all means. Thank you for saving her. Think nothing of it. Three of my friends and my little brother are missing. When I find them, can I bring them here? Absolutely not. I cannot afford to have Vass's captives here. His men buy product from me todo el tiempo. Then this is the safest place. He won't think to look for them here. Please, doctor. Bring the rest to you. They'll die otherwise. Agnes. How can I refuse you? Of course they can stay. Oh, I'm going to need a double dosage to calm my nerves. Find the others.